We're Mike and Taylor. And these are our dogs, Penny and Lucy. We sold our home and nearly all of our belongings, moved onto a 40-foot boat, and sailed from Seattle. Embarking on the adventure of a lifetime. Oh my God. This is the story of us forging our own path, exploring the world in Via, figuring it all out as we go, and making our way. from Crescent City, California, where we've been now for, I don't know, four days or so, and we will remain for another oh, four to five days. Not that much has gone down here. The passage was all right. We're still kind of just trucking through, you know? It hasn't been necessarily really fun trading off really long stretches tied to marinas and these Towns for these rough passages, yeah. yeah. So, you know, it's been kind of what it is, and we are this close to being able to take our next leap, which is around Cape Mendocino, and that's kind of a big deal. So we're really waiting for the right weather window to do that. And then that's two out of three, and then the last cape is like Point Conception, a lot further south, and so we are just like, that's like our target, like just to get south of Conception. And apparently once you get around Conception, that's like where Southern California kind of starts. Right. And like everyone says you round that, you round point Conception and all of a sudden like you start stripping off layers and the seas calm down. Very benign Southern California, sunny, warm. The, warm the warm thing we've been looking for yeah. since moving aboard essentially. So Conception is like our target. So we don't really feel like we've like made it um until we kind of have rounded that point so we are kind of i mean we're probably almost halfway to point conception at this point so yeah we are um but we have point cape mendocino to clear first and foremost so that's a big one that's the big one that's the big one but for now we're going to take the dogs to go run it's actually pretty cool our spot at the marina just on the other side of the breakwater here is a beach so we're going to take um at least penny to go run around a little bit and enjoy the warmest part of the day in all of our many layers. <laughs> Sun just came out. So. Yeah. It'll warm up. Here's Via. Here's the beach. It's officially September, which is wild. Absolutely wild. It's a little bit of a, a little bit of a bummer. A big bummer actually, because we did think that we would be down in the LA area about three weeks ago already. And Mike's mom's got a big birthday. She's from 70 and we, they like rented a house. We're gonna have this big party and there's just absolutely no way we can make it. That's happening this weekend. So, you know, we're rolling with the punches. You know, you have to be flexible in this lifestyle and but you know, there are some things that are kind of a bummer. It really is just taking us so much longer than, than we expected because of these weather systems that are just posting up and staying for like 10 days. So we're really excited to hopefully be able to make our next jump here soon and just keep inching our way closer and closer to more benign waters where you don't really get stuck for 10 days doing anything, so.
It's getting windy out there. So today we are going to walk into town and do some provisioning. I think this is the town, this is like the town that we've been in that has the furthest walk from the marina to a grocery store. It's still not like terrible. It's only like maybe a, a mile or two, but it's going to be a little bit of a hike. And uh, we're going to go in and restock, provision, get some food because I'm almost nervous to like <laughs> say it because, you know, you kind of like jinx yourself, but it looks like we might be getting a little bit of a weather window at the end of the week. So today's Tuesday. It's looking like around Friday. We are going to be good to clear Cape Mendocino. And... I don't know, Mike's really plotting to absolutely make a run for it, to not only just clear Cape Mendocino, but to try to haul all the way down past Point Conception and potentially be pulling into Santa Barbara or Los Angeles. So uh, I don't know, it's still a little bit early. We don't really know where our destination's gonna be, but hopefully we'll be able to wrap <laughs> to get around this Cape, get a little bit further south here soon. So today we are gonna go to the store and start, gonna start preparing and acting as if that's a real possibility. And then tomorrow I think we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna do laundry. So we've gotta carry a lot of, a lot of stuff pretty long way into town uh, to a laundromat because the Crescent City Marina no longer offers laundry. You know, it has been, it ha this has been a slog and you know, I think we've like shared that. It has felt a little bit like a slog, but I think one of the coolest parts about this, particularly the last like two weeks, it allowed us to really like talk and mingle and meet a bunch of boats. And you know, we've, we had a couple on board a couple days ago for some drinks and got to know them and they're awesome. And so it's been really cool getting to like meet people in this community who are living the same life. And it's really like a fun, it's been fun because you really, you are quite isolated, you know, living on a boat in a lot of ways, and especially if you add COVID in, it's just been kind of bizarre, but you know, it's been really nice getting to meet fellow sailors and fellow cruisers and, you know, be in a place long enough that we actually like see them multiple times and really get to know them. So that's really been fun. So I'm looking forward to seeing where everyone's going and, you know, we might not meet again until Mexico or maybe we will, who's to say, but anyway, for now, we're gonna go get some food and then hunker down, I think, because I think it's supposed to blow pretty hard here tonight, so. Welcome to Whaler Island Groin. Which is kind of pretty. I was trying to go on a drone flying mission, but I can't seem to get far enough away from the airport, so it's all a no fly zone. But I'm going to explore the groin. the marina we've been for the last week. That's where we came in the other morning, but couldn't see anything with the fog. And that's where we're gonna go out in two days. Pretty. Not bad for the whaler's groin. Also, there was a sign saying there's poison oak everywhere here, so 
Really hope I don't get poison oak. That would really be fun at sea. in the morning and the day has come that we are finally leaving Crescent City. It is really, really foggy out there again. So this is gonna be an interesting uh, departure, but we're ready and yeah, it's time to go. coming in here it was so foggy I thought that that dock right there was like a cargo ship like I couldn't see anything except like a, a shape and I was like I heard that there was something there while on dock and like rock and all this stuff just like appeared out of nowhere and it's less foggy today but it's still pretty foggy <laughs> After motoring out through the damp fog for quite a while, we got the ultimate treat, a visitor, Francisco the Pine Warbler. All kinds of flying critters, from insects to birds, occasionally find themselves either lost or too far from land, and a boat like ours can be a welcome respite. And even though we have two bird dogs on board, no one, including Francisco, really seemed to mind. In fact, Lil Francisco ended up spending eight hours with us that day, most of which was spent asleep hidden behind a pillow in the cockpit. providing hours of entertainment and excitement for the whole crew and flew off whenever he felt he was ready. For us, it was time to settle in for five more days and nights at sea as we made our way toward Los Angeles. Join us next time as we round Cape Mendocino spend nearly a week at sea, and get the ultimate reward as we round Point Conception. Haha, -ha, Crescent City. Crescent City. We're coming for ya. I mean, we're here. We're here, yeah. Yeah, no, we're here. We got you. Uh, yeah, we're all, you, we already got you. Is that a carcass? What's that? I think that's a carcass. Dead seagull. Oh, dead seagull. Oh, did it just shit? <laughs> Let's go see what's on the backside of the groin.